organisms do not live in isolation from each other. They often form relationships, which we call ecological relationships. Ones that form close relationships are called symbiotic relationships, and symbiosis means living together. Now, sometimes these are beneficial relationships, sometimes they're not beneficial, and sometimes they're pretty much neutral. So an example of a relationship that's pretty much neutral is commensalism. That means one species is benefiting, but the other species is not being helped or harmed in any way. So an example of commensalism, when orchids grow on trees, they're not actually tapping into the tree for any nutrients or water. They're just using it as support. And the host tree it doesn't get affected one way or the other, but the orchid gets a place to live. Same kind of thing happens with plants that have seeds that get taken away by animals, but it doesn't affect the animals. So one example would be cockleburrs. The cockleburrs, the seeds are inside these little guys, and they don't want to fall right next to their parent plant because that would create competition and harm both of them. So they make these little seeds that have these little hooks on them. So when an animal walks by, the little hooks will take the seed pod further away from the parent. It doesn't hurt the animal. Eventually it falls off the animal and then the plant has spread further, which is not always a good thing in the case of invasive plants. But that way the plant has been helped and the animal has not suffered at all. So that's one example of commensalism. Incidentally, the barbs on the cockleburr was the inspiration for Velcro. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.